everyone, I'm Pierre Farrugia and today we are with uh, Matthew from Madventures. Madventures and uh, has a page on Facebook as well. Uh, what is called? The page is Madventures Travel and Adventure Blog. So go to follow him. He has very nice uh, topics and nice videos from himself. And today we're going to explore with his help as well, our Hassan. So let's start this adventure. Let's, let's go. go. This is the entrance to the cave with this beautiful view as you can see of these cliffs. So Matt, we were talking about the adventure of this place. What uh, the story? Because I forgot. Uh... All right, so there's an old legend that basically goes, uh, a man called Hassan, a long time ago, kidnapped a young Maltese girl, a farm mm -hmm. girl. And he brought her here to kidnap her and keep her prisoner. Uh -huh. And one day he saw some pirates approaching uh -huh. and he wanted, to, he wanted to get on the pirate ship to leave Malta. Uh -huh. But it turned out that when he was going down on the ship, the pirates were actually locals, Maltese, and here to rescue the girl. So it was a trap. So it was a trap, exactly. Uh -huh. The girl, uh -huh. according to legend, fell down from the rope mm -hmm. when she was going down to the ship and she died. Uh -huh. And then son, to avoid being captured, jumped off the cliff as well. So he could so himself to not a happy captured. ending as we not, used to be. Not a happy ending at all. But in fact, that's why a lot of people are scared to come to this cliff. Some people in Malta, that's why a lot of people are scared to come to this cave. Some they, say here, they say it's fun. They say it's fun. They say it's cursed. Uh -huh. But I, I don't believe in that kind of stuff, so I'm happy to go. Dave, I was reading there are about three, three or four uh, yeah. about the story versions, but all of them do, uh, they don't end in a happy ending. Exactly, they they yes. all die at the end. At the end, it. everyone's dead. So one way or the other. <laughs> Uh, I like the pirate one because it's got that bit of, you know, Yeah, this I didn't read about. This, uh, I will like it more. <laughs> and even uh, being a trap, I like it. So let's, exactly. let's start exploring this let's area. Go. Uh, here we started in our Hassan. Look how beautiful this place is. And the rock formation is amazing. Eh? This uh, has been formed by uh, water erosion, from what I was reading. I'm following Matt from Matt Adventures. Okay. Our first squeeze of the day through the gate, the metal gate. As I tell you every time, coming here, know your limitations, wear your safety equipment, and they always tell somebody that you are inside here. Well, we are going now, Matt, in a dead end chamber, right? Exactly. So this one is a bit narrow, but it's pretty easy for now. That was my helmet, that's why I wear it. As it is outside, even on a cool winter day. So, we are still exploring one of the chambers. We are behind the gate now. So again, there's another three forks. Uh -huh. And uh, I believe this one is a very short way. Uh -huh. uh, yes, it doesn't go anywhere. Uh -huh. It's a very short way, but you can kind of climb up as well uh -huh. if you want to. Uh -huh. Then on the right hand side, uh, again, you can see the X up here showing that it doesn't go uh -huh. too far. Uh -huh. And you can see the end. But the right way is if we continue this way. As usual, we call them all markings you find here. So uh, these are a pity. Ruining this beauty. Now we have to dug down again. You can see Matthew in front of me. We, we are at the end of one of the tunnels. As you can see, it's a little bit crammed. So we're going to explore it. Yes, yeah, so we'll go back, go back to where, the, where it forked into three and we'll try and go on the other path. Perfect, let's go. This is where the gate is. This is the dead end what he was telling, to, telling us about and here we just came from here now we are heading this part this cave is beautiful it brings me back more, many memories when we used to come here and rent a, a crappy torch for some sense from the lady here and we used to come in here and have our biggest adventure It's amazing, I forgot that this cave was so beautiful. Matt is squeezing in another hole here. And it's very slippery, so I have to take care. 
Now I'm going to squeeze down in this tiny crevice. Yep. Yeah. So today we're going to get muddy. And this, this is a really tight spot. Tell what you think, will you? Um, you're in the wider part. part. I'm, uh, I'm stuck back here. I feel like a mouse in a cage. I think it's better we back off there. Yeah. I'm following Matt in another entrance. As you can see, we are doing very good use of the helmets here. Because we are bumping everywhere. Here you have to crawl again. Make another disclaimer here, people coming here are coming here at their own risk, important. Every cave is dangerous. So take care. Here I will not fit for sure, it's super super tight. But it's fascinating, yeah? Now I have to, I can't even turn, I have to back off. Because as you can see here, let me turn the camera. Yeah, it's super tight, and uh, I have here super tight, and I have to back off slowly. But it's uh, amazing this cave. Eh? Here we finish the part behind the gate, so now it's the tricky part for me and the funny for you because I have to squeeze through here. I'm as usual, uh, these things we deserve a subscribe and a follow on Matt's page. Eh? Uh, but we managed to pass again, so we are going home. Uh, let's continue our adventure. Right. Well, now we are exploring a white part again, which is welcoming to walk in. Beautiful rock formation and uh, here we have some. Oh uh, look, what a pity again. Yeah? I condemn this these things, Matthew. Yes, I mean it's really sad to see how people come and just ruin things that have been here for millions of years and they yes. think they have the right to to write over them and make it their own. Exactly. We have some water here. We have some pockets on the side. We have some mud and some water. We try not to fall inside. And now we are claw crawling. It's a little bit long crawl here to do. Well, uh, here we are. It's a little bit, it's very wide as you can see. But it's uh, low. So we have to crawl. It splits into. As far as I know, they end up in the same place. But you're saying that they will end up in the same place. So. By exploring, you will know exactly. Here is another entrance, but it's, it looks that it uh, closes off. And now we are going into more narrow areas. We have to crawl down here. We have a long passage to do. I'm going in. This is the type. Let's give it a look. Maybe, maybe. I will find I'll it. take off my bag and give it a try. I'll see if out there today. This is the tight spot. Matthew tried to pass. You can see. It's super narrow. I don't fit for sure. It's too tight for me. So I have to back off. Okay. It's very hot in here. As you find in normal humid caves here. It's amazing yeah, how big it is. Well, we just came from that end. This is the way that we talked to you, showed you before. There's Matthew there. Here are some stalactites being formed there, which we're going to take great care not to damage them. And we, here we have some stalact stalagmites forming up. So going in and these places, have a look at these. First of all, you will enjoy and secondly, you will preserve the area 
in the main part of the cave. Um, so we took the left fork first and it just ended up in a narrow path. Now we're taking the right fork. Hopefully there's a lot more than here. Right it's here. not claustrophobic here. It's wide, but it's nice to pace, to explore. That's, that's about it. So this one, the last one we were in was actually the main chamber. And now we've come to the end of the right fork. You can see very, very clearly here, the stalagmites and stalactites are just starting to form. I think one of the things I've always been saying is Pierre and I have never actually met before today. But when you're a group of people that have similar interests, you're like-minded, it seems like we both care about the environment, we both love and have a passion for exploration. So, and even though there's probably quite an age difference between us, I, uh, I, it doesn't matter because we just share something in common. And I think that's true with anyone. So to go out, make friends, meet new people and do things together because that's how you meet people and that's how you enjoy the outdoors in its fullest. Well, here is the right part of the fork there isn't much we can go further in i never explored our hassan lake today and we still have a, another part to go look how beautiful here it is so now i'll follow matt out so we continue exploring this cave i don't know if you can see that the droplets here they are like small diamonds very nice, huh? This water dripping here. Now we are walking out to the main gorge there, and you can see some natural light here. And it's less hot, like we are inside there. And now we can see, feel fresh air, and see the main light. Let's continue, Matt. And now we're going to visit the most popular part, which is on that side. Let me do it over here. It's nothing. We have to go to the gate and pass from here. So let's explore this area. Now we are moving towards where we believe was Hassan's uh house room how you say it matthew because in english sometimes i'm not that good that's it uh, residence Hassan used to live in. residence eh? Hassan's residence, Hassan. and where his future girlfriend before she jumped off used to live eh? here he's going to show me the way because this part is the bit he's been to before so we're going to go and explore this bit and see where the literally Hassan and his captured girlfriend lived before they here came. we are approaching Again, where we think Hassan used to live. Maybe here was his terrace with a beautiful view of the sea. And we can see some pigeons here. How oh, oh nice. Okay. It's beautiful here, eh, Matt? Lovely. Was this uh, Hassan's? Uh, maybe this was his sofa. Yeah, let's yeah? see. Let's see, let's pretend you're Hassan. <laughs> but I'm not going to be your girlfriend, eh? so. Please, no. Yeah. So his Hassan. And uh, he's taking a coffee or some wine because at that time, and this is the view he used to get from here. Eh? You cannot ask for more. Eh? Beautiful here. And with the pigeon, maybe it was his pet. Maybe it was his SMS, the pigeon. <laughs> huh? Let's continue exploring this area. As you can see here, you can see some large rock that has fallen off the roof. These are the kind of dangers that you can expect coming here. So please take note. Here we, uh, we assume it was where Hassan uh, used to sleep or his residence. Here, maybe could be that is from here that the legend took place, where they tried to escape or he used he tried to send this girl, this girl out, and they fell to their death. So, and for sure, you, it's a long way down here. So, and here we we have to we can explore. Villa Hassan. I think for that time, or even if not, it was a nice place to be here. Nice space, 
This could be made a bed. Could be this. It's cupboards. <laughs> but side table, storage, yeah. Maybe. And uh, there are some, I don't know, there are even some. But I think they could be not here all here. Pity, yeah? People throwing stuff here. Yeah. Here is the most accessible part, I remind you. Yeah, Matt, you are passing from this side, and I am passing from this side. What do you think, Matt, of here? Beautiful, I huh? I really do. I'm... I am actually amazed because you know our Hassan, we did it many times, even when we are young. But I never thought it was so much nice and so big to explore. Eh? Exactly, because I think um, most people just come to one part of it. This part? This part, the main entrance. Yes. But there's so much more, I think it happens in any kind of adventure. If you just look for some... Ah. <laughs> if you just look for the path... Boom! That was me. We both did the same thing. <laughs> I try to fit my head here. Ah. It's getting shallower. But it's nice. These parts here can easily be done by anybody. Huh? Nothing big. But the helmet, I think, is a must here. Eh? Most probably a big rock full of the roof. These are the dangers you will find in all caves. I think you can pass more safely from this side. That is from where we came from, that lighter. We are still exploring this area. Uh, no, this these were the two, no, that was together. These are the two parts. I knew there was something like that. Well, here it's very shallow now. Yeah, yeah. We have to duck down. We have to crawl, man, now. We have to crawl. Uh, as wide as you want it, but so low that you... But here... Barely on the ground. Yes. Oh, even like this is... Uh, but at least I'm burning some calories, man. Which is quite good. We're all doing a little bit of exercise today. Uh, no, we are getting very, very shallow, eh? But I think we can continue passing from here. Okay. Yeah, but we have to go on our belly now. Uh. Uh. Amazing, yeah? Oh. But now it will go up in height again. Let's put this one here, like this. And now we can go a little bit higher. Let's start this part, oh. This is. Even here, uh, have a lot of. Call left rock. Matthew is coming, he has no problems. It's physically fit and small, which is perfect for these caves. Now we can walk again. But I think we are in a new part, eh? because are. here it closes down. And see, boom. It continues more, right? Yeah. Here we are in a new part, I think, because as you can see, we have to crawl on our belly nearly here. It's very, very tight. Eh? Yes. Well, as you can see, here is a very tight fit to pass, especially this part here. Today I have the bag like this, so it doesn't bother me on top. But we are getting inside everywhere. I think we have managed to go everywhere today here. That's there isn't a hole. This is the new, the, the first time I've been in this part as well. All right, so even, even in the bit that you're used to, you have never come this far. Yet. Yes, yes, it's true. This has been a beautiful exploration. This cave is amazing. I know I always say amazing, but I always amazed. It's so beautiful here. So now, you can see me puffing mm -hmm. because uh, I'm working hard. And I have the mask on as well. And I have the mask and it's hot, but it's worth it full. Eh? 
So example. let's start our way out. We can go. We are moving above the tunnel that we passed before. Taking great care not to bump our head more than we already did. Boom. Another one. Taking care not to bump our head. Boom. <laughs> and here oh, we have some fresh air coming which is very welcoming and we are going towards the entrance again hope you enjoyed this vlog we nearly did much we nearly we did all her Hassan because I've been to places I think four times more even when I was young here with Meg thanks to Matt uh, we did it in a very safe manner. People t come here, please take care. Um, please subscribe to my channel, Pierre Farruja, and his Facebook page, Madventures. Madventures, which has some cool stuff as well. He does the same things like me and in a good quality as well. Until next time, bye bye. See you. No, no. <laughs>